so simply supported beam a b 2.5 meter is carrying two point load as shown in figure draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam okay so first of all first step it is to calculate the reaction of this beam to find reaction of beam to find reaction of beam reactions of beam okay. first step to find the reaction of the beam so we have some assumptions for that so if it is clockwise moment then we will be take it is positive if it is anti clockwise moment it will be take negative okay it will be take negative if it is force it is going upward direction if force it is going upward direction it will be take positive if force it is going downward direction it will be take negative okay so this one it is positive upward force and downward force it will be take negative okay so these are the assumptions okay so first of all first of all moment at a is equal to summation of ma is equal to zero summation of ma is equal to zero summation of ma summation of ma is equal to zero okay take moment at a is equal to zero so first c it is load c so you start from a to b so c it is load how it is rotating about the a c here this it will be rotating about the a it will be clockwise direction so force into per hundred distance moment means force into per hundred so this will be 2 into 1 2 into 1 then for it is 4 kilo newton it is also rotating here 4 kilo newton is also rotating clockwise direction so plus 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 4 into 4 into 4 into 1.5 1.5 then minus minus why it is minus now here the rb is b reaction how it is rotating rb it will be rotating about the a it will be anti clockwise direction so this may be rotating anti clockwise direction so that's why rb into rb into rb into 2.5 2.5 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 it will be get it will be get it will be get rb from this so rb is equal to write down rb is equal to is equal to so 2 into 1 Twenty one plus four into one point five, four into one point five divided by two point five. It will be R B equal to three point two kilo newton. Three point two kilo newton. R B equal to three point two kilo. Just write down R B equal to three point two kilo. Three point two kilo newton. Then second second equation summation F Y equal to zero. Second equation it is summation F Y equal to zero. Algebraic sum of all the Vertical forces is equal to zero. Okay, so upward it is positive, downward it is negative. So R A reaction it is going upward, then minus at C it will be going downward minus two, at D force it will be going downward minus four, then plus R B it will be three point two kilo. Three point two kilo is equal to zero. Sorry, ah, uh, R B is equal to three point two kilo. So R A is equal to Reaction at E is equal to it will be get so two plus four minus three point two it will be two point eight kilo newton two point eight kilo newton okay so here R A it is going upward direction so this R A it is going upward direction so minus two here it is going downward direction this force it is downward direction so that's why it is minus so four it is also going downward direction that's why it will be also minus four. So R B it is going upward direction. So plus three point two. So it is equal to R A it will be get how much it will be R A two point eight kilonewton. So R A is equal to two point eight kilonewton. Two point eight kilonewton. So this one it is reaction at A and reaction at B. So next step S F calculation. Next write down the S F calculation. S F calculation. So reaction at B is three point two kilo newton. So R B is equal to three point two kilo newton. Next step S F calculation. S F calculation. calculation. S F calculation. Okay. So it start from A. So S F at left of A. S F at left of A. Left of A is equal to zero. There is no any force to the left side of A. That's why it will be zero. 
then SF at A, SF at A. So SF at A, it is reaction, it is going down, sorry, upward direction. That's why it is plus 2.8 kilo newton. Okay. Then next, SF at left of C, SF at left of C, left of C. So SF at left of C, it will be also 2.8 kilo newton. Okay. So there is only one force, that is upward reaction. So that's why 2.8 kilo newton. Then SF at C, SF at C is equal to, so 2.8, left side it is 2.8, then minus 2, minus 2, SF at C it is downward direction, that is minus 2. So it will be 0.8 kilo newton, 0.8 kilo newton. Okay. So next, SF at left of D, SF at left of D, SF at left of D it is also 0.8 kilo newton, 0.8 kilo newton okay then sf at d sf at d sf at d so it is 0.8 then minus minus 4 okay 0.8 minus 4 so it will be minus 3.2 kilo minus 3.2 kilo then sf at left of d sf at sf at sf at left of d sf at left of left of B, SF at left of B, sorry, ah, SF at left of B it is minus 3.2 kilo newton, minus 3.2 kilo newton. And next, last one it is SF at B. So SF at B it is, I will write down here, SF at B it is minus 3.2 kilo newton, then plus minus 3.2, then plus upward force at B it is 3.2 kilo newton. It is equal to zero. Okay, so this one it is SF cal. We will draw the shear force diagram. Shear force diagram. So SF at A it is 2.8 kilonewton. 2.8 kilonewton. This one. This one it is 2.8 kilonewton. 2.8 kilonewton. Okay. Then SF at left of C. So SF at left of C it is also 2.8 kilonewton. 2.8 kilo. Okay. So this one it is 2.8 kilo. Then SF at C, SF at C here, 0.8 kilo. So this one it is 0.8 kilo. Okay. So this one it is just write down 0.8 kilo. 0.8 kilo. Okay. So next SF at left of SF at left of D. So SF at left of D it is also 0.8 kilo. Then SF at B. It is 3.2 kilo. 3.2 kilo. Okay. Then SF left of B it is also minus 3.2 kilo. Minus 3.2 kilo. And SF at B it is 3.2 kilo. 3.2 kilo. So this one it is minus, sorry, plus, and this one it is minus. minus. Okay. So this one it is SFD diagram. So this value it is 3.2 kilo. Here it is also, here it is 3.2 kilo ton. Here it is 3.2 kilo ton. Here it is minus 3.2 kilo ton. Okay. This one it is 0.8 kilo ton. Okay. This is SFD diagram in kilo ton. SFD in kilo ton. In kilo ton. Okay. In kilo ton. So this one it is SFD diagram. Now we need to BM calculation. So this one it is SF completed. Now BM calculation. Okay. BM. This one it is 3.2 kilo. Next BM calculation. BM calculation. BM calculation. Okay. So now BM at A. BM at A. So we'll start from BM at A. It is zero. There is a no bending moment at A. So next BM at C. BM at, so BM at C, force into perpendicular distance. So force it is from the left side, it will be 2.8 kilo. 2.8 into 1. So 2.8 into 1. So how it is rotating? Here. This one it is rotating about the point C. Here. This one it is rotating about the point C. It will be clockwise direction. So that's why it is plus 2.8 into plus 2.8 into 1. So it will be 2.8 
किलो किलो न्यूटन मीटर किलो न्यूटन मीटर किलो न्यूटन मीटर नेक्स्ट बी एम एट डी बी एम एट डी बी एम एट डी तो बी एम एट डी इट विल बी टू पॉइंट एट इन टू परपेंडर डिस्टेंस दिस वन इट इज वन प्लस पॉइंट फाइव इट विल बी टू पॉइंट सॉरी वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव देन सेकेंड इट विल बी सेकेंड फोर्स दिस वन सेकेंड फोर्स इट विल बी टू किलोमीटर टू किलोमीटर हाउ इट इज रोटेटिंग अबाउट द पॉइंट डी इट इज इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन It is rotating anti-clockwise direction, so that's why it is minus two into two into point five, two into point five. It will be BM at D. It will be again BM at D is equal to two point eight, two point eight into one point five, then minus two into point five. Okay, it will be three point two kilonewton meter, three point two kilo newton meter, three point two kilonewton meter. So now B M and B it will be zero, but just we'll cross check this one at okay. B M at B. Okay, actually this value it will be get zero. The support at E and B it will be always zero. Bending moment at E and B it will be zero when B M it is only simply supported. There is no overhang beam. Okay, so B M at B, so B M at B is equal to. So now we'll go to A to B. So A at two point eight. 2.8 into perpendicular distance it is total 2.5 meter so total span it is 2.5 meter then minus so 2 km it is rotating about the point a it will be anti clockwise direction so 2 into 1.5 1.5 then minus and minus 4 into 4 it will be rotating about the point a it will be 1 4 into perpendicular distance it will be 1 here i will explain again one by one So R B it is here. R B it is R A. Sorry, R A it is rotating about the point A. It is two point eight into two two point eight into two point five meter. So this distance it is total one plus point five plus one. So it will be two point five meter. So how it is rotating about the point A? Point B. Sorry, point B it will be clockwise direction. Okay, that's why it will be plus. Then second second it will be two kilometer. Two kilometer. How it is rotating about point A? Okay, this one it is anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise direction. That's why minus two into perpendicular distance. It is point five plus one. It will be one point five. Then third, third one it is this one. Four, four kilometer. How it is rotating about the point B? It is a again anti-clockwise direction. So minus four into perpendicular distance. It will be one. So this total it will get when the moment at B is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Just see. Let's do the calculation. Two point eight into two point eight into two point five. Then minus two into one point five. Then minus four into one. Okay, so it will be zero kilonewton meter. Okay, so this one it is SF cal BM BM calculation. Now we'll draw the BMD diagram. BMD diagram. Okay. BMD diagram. Okay. So draw the first neutral axis. Now add BM at eight is zero. BM at C it will be two point eight kilometer. BM at C it is two point eight kilometer. So this one it is two point eight kilometer meter. Two point eight kilometer meter. Okay. So next one it is. Two point eight kilonewton. Two point eight kilonewton. Then BM at D is three point two kilonewton meter. 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 Then BM at D it is zero. BM at B it is zero. Okay. So this one it is BM D. So positive. BM D. BM D. In kilo newton meter, kilo newton meters. So why it is positive? So it is bend. It is mean tagging type of bend occur. Okay. See this book. It will be when we apply force on that beam, it will be bend. It is in tagging type bend occur. Okay. So it is just like okay. So it will be occur tagging type bend. Okay. So that's why, that's why this will be see this one. It is tagging type bend occur. 
due to external load. Okay, when you apply external load on that beam, it will be sagging type bend occur. So that's why sagging bending will be considered as positive. Okay, so this one it is SFD and BMD diagram. Okay, so for the 